Welcome to the first of these new devotional videos. We're going to try and send some of these out over this next season of change and limitation owing to the virus. The way I'm going to do it is very simple. I'll just do a, a kind of sharing with what's been shared with me. You know, I'll, I'll try and feed with what I've been fed with and stuff that's come from the Bible in my own uh, time with Jesus. If it's blessed me and encouraged me, I'll, I'll share it with you. Simple as that. Hope it helps. A um, bit of regurgitation, basically, if that's not too disgusting an image for you. I've been in Luke chapter 5 today. I'm going through uh, Luke. I'm going through the Psalms. It will be different things, uh, different days. Today, Luke chapter 5, the, the story where Peter meets Jesus. And you might remember, uh, it's, it's a fishing trip, basically. He goes out with Jesus. Jesus uh, gets him to reluctantly take him out after uh, a night times fishing where nothing was caught, if you've ever done that. I think I've done that. It's very discouraging and it's annoying when someone who knows nothing says, let's go out again. And that's what happened. Jesus says, let's go out fishing. Peter's thinking, oh, do you really have to? And they do. And uh, and they have this astonishing catch of fish. And Peter knows that there's there's something going on here. And I think he has a deeper awareness. It's not just that Jesus has sort of got some magical power. Like, you know, he's not just met the fish whisperer. It's, it's, it's something more profound. He has a sudden encounter an awareness with the the presence of holiness and it shocks him it, it actually overwhelms him it's more than just a, a sense of you know I'm, my mind's blown by your magic trick peter it's more over the top than that i know i know peter's a bit of an over-the-top character but it's it's deeper than that he he it says he fell down at jesus knees saying depart from me for i am a sinful man that's luke chapter 5 verse 8 i'm a sinful man O lord Peter's deeply aware suddenly of his fallenness, his failure, his his uh, limitation, and his 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 uh, his disqualification from being around the holiness of God, which throughout Scripture is a shocking quality. When people come into contact with God's holiness, it does overwhelm them, and it still does today. That's often our experience when we're aware of our sin and shame, and, and aware of the presence of God. It, it can be an uncomfortable thing. Now. Many of us, we imagine that there's something holy about staying in that place. We live our lives, perhaps as Christians, dwelling on our unholiness, dwelling on our failings, our shame, our sin, our guilt, our past, dwelling on it, imagining that there's virtue in our preoccupation with our sin. But it's important to realize that that's, that's not only inaccurate, it's, it's not helpful, it's it's not productive. The, the book of Proverbs says that the wicked run when nobody is chasing them. You know, when you have a bad conscience, you, you're, you're, effect, you, you're, you're useless. <laughs> if your conscience is overwhelmed with, with guilt and shame, you're not going to be that effective. And it, it's made me think even about how we're facing challenges and problems because of the virus. And you know, how, how are we going to be effective and fruitful people? One way is not by having a heavy conscience. There's not, I mean, there's not much use for us if we walk around life just dwelling on our past, dwelling on our shame and sin. We need the freedom that Jesus brings here to Peter. Jesus responds to Peter so interestingly. He, he turns to him, he responds with the words, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Jesus wants quickly to restore him to confidence. Don't be afraid. He deals with the past, he deals with the shame, he deals with the guilt, just like that. He brings Peter to a place of acceptance and love. He, he is, he's able to say that because, yeah, Jesus has made atonement for our transgressions. Jesus is dealing with our sin. Jesus has dealt with our sin. Jesus came to do that. So that Jesus is able to say to us, don't be afraid. Some of you, I think you need to hear that. I think I did just this this, this last time I was reading it. As I, I just wanted to share it with you because it came to me with with such refreshing weight like Jesus the voice of Jesus I felt him speak to me and saying Joel don't be afraid don't be in fact it's a command we're not actually being that holy if we dwell on things that Jesus has told us not to dwell on we might think we're being so holy it's actually the opposite we're being disobedient don't go there be free from it don't don't dwell on it confess your sins bring them to him but then hear him, receive his voice, let him speak, let him say, okay, that's it, you're free. Let me say that to you. Maybe some of you watching this just need to hear that. Let, let me be the voice of your savior to you now. Let me be his mouthpiece. 
Don't be afraid. And he says, from now on, you're going to catch people. From now on, you'll be a fisher of men. (laughs) From now on, I'm giving you destiny, dignity. I'm calling you to help me. Let's partner together, Peter. Let's work together. Let's let's be together. Don't, Don't be dwelling on the past. Come with me. I wonder if that's what some of us also need to hear as we go into serving people, loving people through this time of challenge. God help us. The world doesn't need people just dwelling on their guilt. That's not much help. People who've been forgiven, who live free and joyful and not are not living in the shame and fear of the past are going to be more useful. There's not the holiness that we think there is in walking around feeling guilt and shame. Come and enjoy the freedom and let Jesus dignify you and reorientate you with destiny, calling, purpose. What's he going to do through you and with you today as he sets you free from the power of guilt and shame from the past? Hope that's encouraging to you. Be blessed by it. Let's pray. Father, I ask you for the peace and the joy that comes to our consciences when we know your son and his voice speaking freedom to us, speaking forgiveness. I pray that for each one of us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bless you guys. Look forward to speaking to you again soon.